So here's my 1993 Toyota pickup truck. It's an SR5 V6, four wheel drive. It's in pretty good shape, but uh, the power steering pump has met the end of its life. So I need to come in here and change this pump. As you can see right here, the power steering fluid reservoir is right here on top. The power steering pump is down below. So what I need to do is come in here loosen up certain straps, uh, get to the pulley undone, undo the hoses, remove the power steering pump, take the reservoir off of the pump and put it onto the new pump, uh, reverse the process, flush the system from air uh, bubbles and, and what, and put everything back together and we should be good. In order to initiate this process, I need to kind of give myself a little bit more room. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna remove this battery first. And after I remove the battery, then I'm going to start tackling the power steering pump. Now, as you can see, I've removed the battery, giving myself plenty of room to work. And I've exposed the power steering unit. I still have the belt on here, it's tight. I have two bolts that we need to worry about two connecting places to the um, car that this thing is connected to. First is this one over here, I call it, it's kind of like a pivot bolt. This goes right to the, uh, the brackets that attach to the engine. And the other one is right here, which also doubles as a t uh, belt tensioner for this unit in the pulley. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to come in here and you want to undo this bolt right here, which releases the tension on the pulley. As you can see while we're down here and I got my finger pointing, you have a connection right here to the power steering pump and you got a connection right here to the power steering pump. These are the two hoses that connect back down to the assembly. These will also need to be detached from the unit. I'm going to proceed now with doing that. So as you can see, I've re loosened this bolt right here and then what that allows you to do is push down on this assembly and release the tension on this pulley so you can remove this belt. That's what we're focusing on next. Okay, so as you can see, I was able to push this down and carefully slide the belt off of the pulley here. And now you'll see, as I'm pushing this down, what's all connected is you have the two lines that we discussed earlier. Um, you got this guy who's gotta be um, uh, unscrewed here, and this guy is un gotta be unscrewed here. And then actually, this is a third line that has to be slipped off. It's a vacuum hose. And then you have, uh, a hose that's actually clamped to the assembly here to kind of keep it running through the system. So you have to remove that, but this hose has nothing to do with the actual power steering. Okay, so I've removed the lower one and you see that we have fluid starting to come out now. So make sure to have a trap down there to collect that fluid and that will be preventing a mess. Now I want to explain something that I that is an intricacy here. Once you start working on the second bolt on the inside, you realize that it runs into your pulley. So in order to undo to get that bolt out, you need to undo the pulley. And this is a step that was easy but just necessary, which put a pair of vice grips onto the inside of that pulley shaft and then get a, a wrench on the other side and loosen that nut and away you go. So you see now with the pulley off. I can come over here and I can just slip this bolt on out. So now I have the whole thing out. I was able to undo both of those, pulled out the vacuum tube, and uh, now I'm gonna proceed to do everything in reverse. I have the new unit that is right over here, and I'm gonna proceed to take this out of the bag and show you how we convert everything over to the new one. Okay, now you can see both of these uh, pumps. I have the old one here, and this one has the bracket for adjusting the unit to be also doubling as the pulley tensioner. And I have the reservoir sitting on top of this. And what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to undo these two screws and put this, the, the, these two bolts. And I'm going to need to transfer this tensioner over to this guy right in the same position. And I'm going to need to undo the bolt here from the reservoir and right here from the reservoir and right there from the reservoir. So I have three bolts attaching the reservoir to this unit. And once I remove those three, I get to remove this cap on the top, 
with some pliers. Just pull this out and you'll be able to fit the reservoir to it. Put the three bolts in and the job will be done for that. Put the bracket on there and the job will be done for that. And then the remaining th two are the, the pump line that we showed you. Okay, as you see, I was able to disconnect the reservoir from here. And when you pull this out, you'll notice a nipple here that has a rubber grommet or, or gasket around the bottom. This needs to be replaced. And so with your new pump, you're going to get one. And here's the new one that will go on to this. So I'm going to remove that, put this one on. And then I'm going to come over here, pull this cap off the top of this one, insert that nipple into there, and tighten the bolts in reverse order. Okay, now you can see this is the old one. I took the reservoir off the top, and I came over here, I put it all in with the gasket on the inside the middle, and then I have the three bolts on either side. So now the next thing I gotta do is, this is one of those uh, connectors that I had in, on the initial. I gotta come down here, and I gotta pull this plug out, screw this guy into the connector, and then I'll do the same thing with this one on my line in the car. We have extra gaskets here for this this motion too for uh, tightening it down and that's for the purpose of making sure that you're going to not have any leaks and you always want to replace these metal gaskets whenever you're doing a project like this go ahead all right we have this uh, hose here if you're not going to replace the hose you need to replace these gaskets there's one on this side and one on this side and as you can see in your new pump it comes with these two gaskets so you need to unscrew these two apart and then put the gaskets on either side like they are and then put it back together. So with the new system, I also have this key that goes into this shaft right here that matches with the key in the pulley. And so then you put that in, the slide the pulley on, and then put the nut back on. I've already got this bolt in to attach it back to the bracket, and then we'll go from there. Okay, as you can see, I got the pulley back on with the key in place and put the nut back in. So I had to do the nut first and then put the pulley on and then crank it in. Vice grips down here on the shaft so that I could hold that side while I, while I wrenched in that bolt right there. Now, if your pulley is tight like mine was, I put a little grease on the shaft of the, uh, of the power steering and that, uh, that coerced the, the pulley to come on a little easier. So the next step is, is I'm gonna take this uh, um, uh, power steering cable here um, where all the fluids come out. I've already inserted my new uh, gaskets here. I'm going to pull this cap off, insert this guy in, screw it on, and we'll come to that point. And there you go. I have all those um, bolted back up here. I got the line down here, put it back on. I got the vacuum hose on here. I got the brackets installed, and I got the belt tents. Uh, all is good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the battery back on because I don't need access to this area anymore from uh, a tooling perspective. Um, get that connected. And then we got to jack up the car so that the front wheels are off the ground and move them back and forth while, after we put the power steering fluid in to bleed it manually because uh, I don't have a vacuum uh, bleeder. So that's how we're going to do it. Okay, now what we did is we jacked up the truck Got the wheels off the ground and we've got somebody in there and they're turning the wheel all the way to the left and all the way to the right keep going and that is bleeding this and you see the the, the air now coming out of the uh the power steering uh pump as this individual keeps turning the wheel all the way to the left and all the way to the right do that for about two minutes three minutes and it'll bleed the system that way after that's done, you have to start the car and do the same thing with it on, and uh, we'll go from there. 